B, the C, the 2, the C. Hi guys, um, this is the review of the Leverman Super Tool. Um, as you can see, you have quite a nice lever case. I just wanted to say that this is not the Leverman Super Tool 300, uh, neither the Leverman Super Tool 200. It's the old uh, Leverman Super Tool made in 97. So as you can see here is the Leverman brand. This is with metal thing. Um, it's good to go on the belt. It's quite good here. Um, inside is nice and leather. So we're gonna have a look at this too right now. So, as you can see, uh, it's all metal steel. So it says Leatherman Super Tool with Portland ore and uh, fat end, I think. Um, yeah, so it's it's uh, stainless steel. I forgot to tell you. So now we're gonna open it and you're gonna see it at the ruler. The ruler is a 22 centimeter ruler, uh, so nine inches. Um, yeah, it's quite a good ruler. It's well, it's metal, you know. Um, at the end of it, you got the needle nose pliers, as you're gonna see. I mean, th this is how it looks like, anyway, the level of But now we're gonna go in details. Um, on the um, needle nose pliers, you can see there, the normal pliers and the wire cutter that I just showing you now. Um, this is a uh, electrical crimper, so it's quite it's really nice. So everybody knows how to use an uh, electrical crimp, I guess. This is a lanyard attachment, uh, so you can attach it to lanyard, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm just focusing a bit because, as you know, uh, well, it's not that good focus, and you can just do it without it. So I'm sorry for that, to it, but just sort of something. So um, here you are. It. Um, we get we're having there. Uh, so I wanted to add that. The tools are quite complicated to get, to get out sometimes, so it takes a bit of time. But this is a metal wood fowl with uh, a diamond edge that you can see there, as I'm showing you. Uh, I personally like them because you can, I know they're good, you know. Um, afterwards, uh, I'm going to put that down and there's the 420 HC blade. So uh, as you can see, it's a really, really good one. It's nice and sharp. Um, I really like it actually because it gets useful in, in situations. Uh, this is the large screwdriver. Um, you can see there. And I'm going to show you the medium screwdriver. I'm showing you right now. This is the medium screwdriver, yes. And uh, yeah, so that's the medium screwdriver. And I will show you the owl punch, uh, which is coming right now. Uh, so that's the owl punch. So it's really useful to make holes in belts, for example. Uh, it can be quite tricky when we don't have this kind of tool, so yeah, it's quite good. Uh, now, passing on the other side, uh, we have um, uh, this is a uh, this is a small screwdriver, I forgot to tell you. Um, also, we have a 420 HC serrated blade, um, which is quite nice. It's I won't say it's strong because apparently it can break easier at the tips. But it's got quite a, a good pattern, you know, I like it. And this is the wood bone saw, so it's uh, really good. But um, I don't know if you know that, but there's a narrow design. I mean, that's why I personally think. Because uh, as you can see there, it's really thin, so uh, it breaks easily, especially for a wood saw. It's a really bad idea, you know. Um, so I've got it, stories of people breaking it really easily. So uh, it's quite bad, you know, bad luck. Um, yeah, I'm just getting up my other tools, quite tricky, you know. Um, this is the um, Philips screwdriver. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Uh, not that focused, but whatever. Um, this is a Canon bottle opener. Um, so, yeah, it's a Canon bottle opener, and this is quite sharp, so I don't want this useful here. You know. um, and um, you can see here, it can, use, can be used as a wire stripper to strip wires. So I hope you know how to use a wire stripper. Um, I won't explain it in details now, I'll probably do that in another video, I, I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'm closing it right now to show you something else. Um, so, uh, focusing on now. So, the color is stainless steel. Um, 
the yeah it's stainless steel you know uh, which is really nice it's 7.5 centimeters long 3.1 centimeters wide and 1.6 centimeters in height uh, it weighs 260 grams which is quite heavy but as you know it doesn't matter that much if you're a really good worker um, after that we're gonna go and see the pros and the cons uh, of it and the uses for it so um, it is widely used for um, fishing, home improvement like do-it-yourself, hunting maintenance and repair on the job, outdoor activities and camping and hiking the cons I would say uh, is to take out the, the blades, to take out the stuff uh, and it's quite a con that uh, this water is really like fading anything uh, the pros are durability, functionality, numbers of features, versatility, and warranty. And uh, I would like to add a con is the wire cutter. Uh, it's not that strong. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you to the next video. Bye, everybody.